Hey guys, what's going on? Imaginary World here. Um, today I got a new video for you. I'm just going to be talking about RC20, the new rent-to-own program with Splice, and basically whether I think it's something you should do or not. Um, so I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and just say it. Yes, I think that it is something you should do. Um, this is coming from a guy who I've already done three rent-to-owns from Splice, so this is actually my fourth and RC20 is a plugin that I've been wanting to get, but for some reason it just didn't, it was never something that I actually ended up getting. And I'm super glad that Splice came out with this because I wouldn't have got it without this. So basically I'm just going to be talking about it a little bit, kind of like a little bit of a review. But if you were considering getting it and you're like, oh, I don't know about this whole Splice rent to own program, I just want to go ahead and say, Splice rent to own is awesome. I have no affiliation with Splice at all. I just like their product. So I just tell people about it because I, I want people to know that yes, Splice is a safe, Splice is a good product. There's no interest or anything like that. It's not like the rent to own that you hear, like these scary stores where you get crazy interest and then you end up paying way more than you would have just paid if you paid outright. That's not how the Splice rent to own works. You basically pay exactly how much the plugin costs. You just pay it over time instead of all at once. Um, so for RC20, you pay $5 a month until you just paid the normal price of the plugin. Not to mention you can pause it at any time. Let's say you don't have the $5 at the time. Pause it that month. You're good. Let's say you just want to pay it off completely, which is sometimes what I do. You know, After I've been using it for a while, I'm like, okay, yeah, I know I want to own this. I'll just pay it off. Um, but yeah, it's guys, it's the real deal. There's really no downsides to doing it. If the plugin is available on rent to own, that's how I'm going to purchase it. So anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I got this project file pulled up here and let's go ahead and just take a look at it. So, um, basically the first, my first thing I ever used RC20 on was this electric guitar that we have here. So basically I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up and solo it. This guitar, I recorded it and it just sounded kind of bland and it just needed something extra, some extra life to it. Um, but this is what it sounded like. So, you know, it's just, I, you know, I got my echo boy on here um some you know eq and compression and that kind of stuff but then i wanted to try out i wanted to try out rc20 because i just downloaded it so i threw it on here and instantly so much life was added to this guitar and uh, this is the priest that I use depth for pluck so if you are interested that's the one um, and I think I pretty much just left it exactly as is because I really 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 liked how it sounded um, so yeah I mean this plugin is so good for just adding life to sounds I have a few more sounds here that I want to show you all right so in the chorus section of this song um, there's a synth and it's very, just very basic sawtooth. Just that's what it sounds like. It just goes down. And, um, I added RC20 on here. So here's how it sounded before. So, you know, you got side chain and that kind of stuff going on. The crystallizer, the thing that you hear <laughs> going on for like 10 seconds after you pause it. Um, so let's hear how it sounds with RC20 now. It just gives it that like distortion that, but it, it sounds, if you've used real gear, it sounds so similar to real gear, like real analog gear and real, like, I don't know. It just sounds so good. It reminds me of how the sound toys plugin sound like echo boy and that kind of thing. Like it, it's up there in that quality. And I feel like this is just a plugin that everyone should own. And I, I would have got it sooner if Splice had the rent to own sooner, but now that I have it, I feel like I'm just going to use this in so many, um, so many projects. Like I've already used it on this synth, this guitar. 
I think I used it on a few other things in here. I, I used it on this pad. Let's listen to how that sounds. Guys, this plugin. I know everyone already talks about this plugin. Go buy this plugin. Now that it's on Splice Rent to Own, you need to own this plugin. This is like, it just sounds so good. I love it. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just want to, I like the song that I'm working on. Um, so I just want to go ahead and play it. Um, but yeah, this, these vocals on, down here, they are not my vocals. Quick disclaimer, they're not my vocals. They're from a remix contest that I was going to enter in, but I just ended up not entering in. I have no clue what happened with it, but it's yours by Lolo. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let this play out. Um, if you like what you hear and you like this video, definitely leave a like. Comment down below if you want more stuff like this, more review type stuff. I know this is very like nonchalant, but this is my way of reviewing, basically just letting you know about things that I like. Um, I really didn't go into detail on the features of this plugin. That's not really what I'm here to do. Maybe I'll make some tutorials in the future, but this plugin's sweet. That's all I'm here to do is just let you know, like, hey, guys, get this plugin. But, yeah, other than that, definitely subscribe if you like this content. And, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let this song play out. You made me feel like a fool in April. You sunk so low. Now I'm stuck in a no escape zone. Riding so low, low You said it wasn't love, but it was love Cause you said it was love just last week Did I hold on too tight, give you bruises Now you left me here all confused And I can't wear my favorite necklace anymore Your favorite sweater is still hanging on my door